Hi everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Sandy Sandler. This is Vivi, who isn't quite sure because we've moved up. Oh, she's leaving us. Oh well, I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra. I'm gonna today we're gonna make some really great fall wreaths, some really big projects, some gift wrap. And I also want to let you know, I'm giving away a free roll of Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. So, and we'll show you that in a minute, but please write, I want to win in the comments so we can choose you um, or somebody. I'm not sure who the, um, who's going to get chosen, but I don't do the choosing. So anyway, I will get started on a really cool wreath. So I'm going to start with some- Aurelia more. sending love. Oh, thank you. And also, you guys, I'm so sorry I was remiss in a lot of my comments this week because I had a hard week after my jaw surgery. So please forgive me. I promise to be better from now on. So I'm going to start with by folding my Godabra bow wire in half and laying that down. And I cut a big piece of wire because this is a really big bow. So I have this like scrap piece of mesh that's probably about a yard long. And just fold it in half and lay that into my bodabra. And then I'm gonna have to stand up because I've got now about another two yards of mesh. So this is gonna be kind of the back of our centerpiece or wreath. So when you guys see this finish, it's gonna be spectacular. So let me just fold this over and anybody that makes that uses mesh knows how mesh does not want to be your friend. Gail says, hi, Sandy. Hi, Gail. Oh my gosh, Gail, I loved that. Uh, is that Gail Griffin? Yes. From Purple Hues and Me. And Gail is one of our amazing Bodabra designers. And I, she just created this awesome like wedding centerpiece. I'm just gonna leave that piece out and cut that right here. It's an awesome wedding centerpiece that looks, oh, I don't have a trash bag today. Okay, guess the floor is gonna be my trash. So now these beautiful pieces here, I'm just gonna lay this one in. Like I said, this is gonna be a really big bow. We are not even started yet. I'm gonna lay this one going that way. Gail so, says thank you so much, Sandy. Oh, Gail, it was so cool. It was so creative, because what Gail did was she made a wedding dress and put it around the bottle for flowers or you know whatever you felt like putting into it. It was so creative, and Gail is like, oh my gosh, I love her product. And I also- Debra says, hi, Sandy. Oh, hi, Debra. Oh, just so you guys know, this is about an eight inch wide ribbon, and all of these pieces are about 20 inches long, and this is a two inch wide ribbon. So we're just mixing a whole bunch Lots of- Lots of comments for I want to win, but Susan says I want to win, and it's my birthday. It would be a great present. Oh, wow. That happy- Birthday, Susan. So Susan's a Libra, I think. Am I right? I don't know. <laughs> I think that. So now we're just laying all these pieces and I'm actually losing because this bow is so huge. Guess who designed it? It had to be Michael. Because <laughs> Michael makes, so this one is a little bit bigger. This is about three quarters of a yard. I'm just gonna lay these in here one more and I actually lost one on the floor so I'm gonna grab that one more in and of course we're still not finished but you can already see this forming let's see what we have here so for those of you that are just joining us I'm gonna be giving away of and I'm actually gonna be doing this every week for the rest of the year I'm going to be giving away a free roll of Bodabra scrunchy ribbon. So please make sure you watch the live and let me know. Just all you have to do is say, I want to win. And you can be one of the lucky winners. Shirley says hello. Hi, Shirley. Shirley was one of the, was our first lucky winner. So let's go back and forth here. And I'm just all I'm doing here, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Bodabra, I'm folding my ribbon, twisting it, and then I'm just, I'm kind of going to work this around my flowers, bringing it back. I'm going to twist it, 
And I think I have about two yards. I'm sorry, it's a one and a half inch ribbon. I should have measured it first. But what's so cool is um, with the Bodabra um, bow maker, you can literally make something like this in, I have not even been on air for five minutes yet, and I'm almost done with this gorgeous creation. So that's kind of what I love about the Bodabra. I'm just gonna fold this back. Because if you're not familiar with the Bodabra, there are springs in the Bodabra that hold everything together. So it's like having a third hand. And again, don't forget to write, I wanna win if you've just joined us and you're watching me live. Um, if you're watching the replay, please say um, replay. And let's just get going with this. Um, just say replay. And so all I'm doing here is just fold, twist, and push. And I'm gonna go one more loop, old twist and push. And I mean, it's amazing that I can make this whole huge wreath right in my Bodabra. And let's, you know what? I think that that's enough. So I'm going to just clip this, hold it down. I'm gonna go find somewhere under all of this is my wand. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Michael. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to just put these tails in here. <laughs> Why not just add a little bit more? And then I'm going to put my wand into my Bodabra. And I'm just going to kind of push everything down so it all scrunches together. Take my wand out. Now, I did fold my Bodabra bow wire before I started making this bow. And I just have to get through all of this ribbon to pull my wire out. So I'm pulling this up here. And I have on the other side, I have my loop. Because I'm, I'm gonna now, by folding it in half, I now have a slip knot. So I can pull it through my slip knot. I'm gonna hold the bow down tight and pull it really tight while it's in the Bodabra. So that way, when I pull it out, it doesn't fall apart on me. So now I'm going to separate the ends and bring it around the back, get through everything. Kind of have to stand up for this bow because it's so big. And this would be really pretty on your door and the centerpiece. And let's just... Carla says I love the fall ribbon. Thank you. I do too. So I'm going to leave my wire not cut because if I want to tie it onto something. And then what I'm going to do here, this is just such a big bow. I'm going to kind of shape everything. I'm going to bring my roses around, put them up in the center so we see them. Whoops, looks like that rose is going to... We need a little tender care. There we go. And so how super, super simple and gorgeous. And I know a lot of you um, make wreaths and, you know, join our Bodabra fan gallery and share your projects with us. And this, and also sell your, your wreaths and your bows. So isn't this just amazing how simple and you can make the whole thing right in your Bodabra. So now I'm gonna put this aside. And, or did you want me to hold that up a bit more? I know usually sometimes I put things aside too long. There you go. It's really simple. Lots, lots of hellos coming through there going very quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Oh, if you're saying hello and you're just joining me, thank you for being on the live because on every live from now until the end of the year, I'm going to give a free roll of Bodabra scrunchy ribbon away. Scarlett says beautiful. Crystal says awesome. Me. Thank you. And thank you, Michael, for designing this amazing piece. So now I'm going to put this aside. And 
and um, we're gonna make a little smaller project this time. So, and I'm basically, we just have this little hurricane glass and just put some um, pine cones. I'm like, what are these? Just Ava put some... says, awesome. Donald loves, says, love it. Penny says, hi from Plant City, Florida. Hi, Penny. Thank you for joining me. Oh, are you Plant City? Now that's north, right? So you weren't affected by the hurricane, I hope. And my prayers go out to all of you guys who were. So here, I just took a piece of our Bodabra rhinestone ribbon, which is this, and a piece of just a two inch burlap. And all I'm gonna do here is just wrap it around my glass and just use a little bit of glue here. Let's grab another of my Zots because that will help it hold a little bit better. And let's go there, and there we go. So I'm gonna put this aside, and this time I'm gonna take my mini Bodabra and for those of you who are just joining me, I'm Sandy Sandler, and I'm the creator of the Bodabra. And the Bodabra just lets anybody make really, really easy, big, huge bows or little tiny bows. Um, I fold that in half. says your corrected did not bother us. My what? I'm sorry? Your corrected didn't bother them in Florida. Oh, Never. good, good. I'm happy to hear that. Very, oh, it's just so devastating. I, I can't even imagine living through that. I have um, a one and a half inch ribbon, and this was cut about um, eight inches. So I'm gonna just fold that in half, and we dovetailed the ends to put the little points on there. And then here I have an 11 piece of ribbon, inch piece of ribbon. And all I'm gonna do is just put the wrong side down here, fold this back over and put the wrong side down again. Ava said she just got back to school today after Hurricane Florence. She's oh my gosh, County, Ava. North Carolina. Oh, that, I mean, I just, and I, the, anybody who lived through Florence and then had Michael right behind it, I can't even imagine. So now this is um, six, eight inches. And again, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm just gonna scrunch this in, fold it over, and then take the center and scrunch that in. And now I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire. So this could also be a really pretty hair bow. There's so many things you can do. Scrunch it down, pull it out, separate my ends, bring it around to the back, I'm just gonna tie a knot here and double knot it, I think. <laughs> That's what I love our Bodabra bow wire. And for any of you guys that are just joining, I'm giving away a free roll of our Bodabra scrunchy ribbon. I'm gonna do a bow with it in just a second. Let's just shape this one out a little bit. Um, and so you'll see what the scrunchy ribbon is and I'm gonna give a roll on our live broadcast free every single week till the end of the year. So make sure you tune in to our live broadcast and type in, I want to win. And if you're watching the replay, please just say hi anyway and join us next week so you can win. So there we have this cute little, let me just take a look. Okay. Cute little hurricane glass. That's so pretty for on your mantle, fall decor, Really simple. It can even be a nice little hostess gift. So now I'm going to put this aside and go to my, well, we're going to make a scrunchie bow. So um, let's take my bow dabber bow wire, fold it in half, and I'm going to lay this down into my bow dabra. And now, I'm going to take, I've got about, I don't know, maybe 13 inches of scrunchy ribbon, but it doesn't really matter. You can put as much scrunchy ribbon in as you want. It'll just be more puffy. And now I have the same amount of my silver scrunchy. Aurelia said, can you please show us one more time the big, I think she meant bow that you just made. The one we made at the beginning. Absolutely. As soon as I finish this, I'll bring it back up and show it to you. 
And the good news is that you will have this, oh, now this is our rhinestone, Bodabra rhinestone ribbon. It's nine inches. And this is what the rhinestone ribbon looks like. And I just cut two rows of it. So um, I'm just gonna take the middle there, put that in. And then I'm gonna take some of our, I thought I had some silver cut, but maybe not. Um, you know what, I'll just cut it right now. So I'm gonna cut two rows of the silver. Oh, uh, you can talk, Michael. <laughs> In the backpack. Yeah. Oh, it dropped. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's the problem with working with the really big bows. My little bows get kind of lost. Mm. So I'm just going to, but I love you. I love this stuff because it's like really like flexible and easy to use. And it's really pretty and it goes a long way because you can cut it up and use it in a lot of different. It helps if I use the right one. So now I'm just gonna pull this through here, pull that through, hold it tight while it's still in the Bodabra, pull it out and separate the ends, bring it around the back, tie it, and I'm gonna knot it. And I think I'm gonna knot it. And then you can make also, I have this um, just margarita mix without alcohol. Um, not that it matters, but it was just an idea for like a hostess gift. You just tie it on the front of your bottle. Um, and the cool thing about these scrunchy bows, I'm gonna tie on the back. I'm just tying it as a bow because that way, if person wants to save the pretty bow, they can. But that's the nice thing about these scrunchy bows is they're so quick and easy. You can just make it, put it on a bottle. They also make great ornaments. So now I'm gonna put that away and I'm going to pull out that other big, huge, massive bow we made since I had a request to see it again. Now we do have a replay. Can you see that okay, Michael? Yes. Okay, so we do have a replay of the blog, of the Bow Dabber every Sunday. The, the um, Facebook Live that we do the week before is on our, on our blog at bowdabberblog.com um, on Sundays. So you can definitely catch the replay. We also have the replays in our bowdabber.com, um, our bowdabberblog.com. No, listen to me in our app. We have a Bodabra app you can get in your iOS store or your Google Play store. And it's free and there's tons of projects on there as well. So now I'm gonna fold this in half. Any comments, Michael? Lots of uh, I wanna wins. Oh, cool. <laughs> I would, yeah, and, and we're gonna keep doing this every week. So if you don't win today, Tune back for the live next week because we're the same place, same time. And so it's very pretty. Thank Linda you, says Anne. that's nice. Thank you, guys. And Aurelia said, OMG, that's gorgeous. Thank you, Michael. Thank Doing you. I really thank you, Michael. So now I'm just going to um, do a little quick, easy napkin decor. So I'm just going to, just kind of folding my napkin over. Uh, Linda says, and please ask her, I believe, if she sells the scrunchie ribbon. Yes, we do sell the scrunchie ribbon. So um, it's on our Bodabra store. And the scrunchie ribbon, unfortunately, not unfortunately, but the only place you can buy it right now is at Bodabra.com. And we sell colors. it. Sorry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have it in, thank you, Michael. We sell it in gold and silver and red and we have a really good deal on um the 50 foot rolls as a kit so we'll see we sell all three of them together and we also sell them together as a kit as well as individually but it's a much better deal if you buy it as a kit so now actually you know what i can put the i can actually stick the napkin in maybe i guess if i un there we go so you can actually put your napkin right in there and then I'm gonna start with here. And this is actually one of the ribbons we sell on our site too, which I think is so pretty. And just put this back here. And then I have, this is one of the Bodabra ribbons also. So if you guys look at our site, we have some really beautiful, and they're really, we don't, I don't buy a lot of ribbon. 
I only buy things that I really like. So we, a lot of times once it's gone, it's gone and I can't ever get it again. So let me put this in here. So what I'm doing here is actually make, I'm making a little flower on top. So this is gonna be really pretty. Um, and you know what, it's really fun. And if you look at some of our lives from before, we've made a lot of really beautiful flowers in our mini and our regular boat, Abra. So I'm put that right there at the center. Take my wand, scrunch that all down. It just says thank you. Oh, of course, thank you. And a lot of times when you guys order from me um, at bodabra.com, I'll throw in an extra little surprise sometimes. So it's kind of fun. So you might get a little free something with your order. So now, let's separate the ends, bring it around to the back. And here I'm gonna tie it. And to make it easy for my guests, I'm gonna tie a bow. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna tie a bow here. So take that. Can I tie a bow? <laughs> I can make a bow in Bodabra. Okay, there you go. So now I'm just going to shape this all out. And I'm gonna pull it, bring the ends around. And isn't that like just for your to have as a place setting? So, so simple, but yet will add such elegance to your table. Your guests will go, they will think you spent hours making this, but your kids can help too. <laughs> it's so easy. So now I think we have time. Deborah says beautiful. Thank Neil you, says Deborah. gorgeous. Thank you guys. And I'm gonna reach over here because these I have a lot of these on the floor because they're really big. And Wanda well, um, says, so what happens to the decoration when the guest wants to use their napkin? Um, I thought it, one, that's a really good question. And I thought about it. I would probably not put the napkin in. I would make the bow, tie a knot and put it and, and then tie it on. So it will stay together. I honest to goodnessly thought I was being very creative by um, putting it all in the bow dabber at one time, but that was a good question. And you're, it's absolutely right. It was a good catch. Thank you. Linda says so beautiful. Thank you, Linda. So now this next bow is another big one. So I'm going to take some of my Bodabra bow wire, fold it in half, and lay this down into my Bodabra. And in about two minutes, Terry is going to announce on the site who won the prize. So I'm just going to lay this in here just like that. And then, actually, nope, I decided different. I'm going to lay this in, and this is a piece of mesh that is two pieces of mesh actually that are 12 inches wide and about a half a yard long. So this is going to be a really nice, like a door hanger type bow. So now I'm going to just lay this in here. Do it like that. And take all my other pieces here. Um, and these are all about 29. So they're about a yard long. And all I'm doing is just folding it in half and taking this and just folding these in half. And I'm gonna take my piece of um, burlap which is two and a half inches wide and about 40 inches long. It's a little longer because what we've done is kind of curled it. So it kind of just twists and curls. Lay that down. Then I'm gonna take my another piece of this ribbon, just lay that in, and another piece of this one. Lay this in here, and I've got just a few more pieces, but it's going to be a pretty big door hanger, but you can see how super, super simple this is to do. So now I'm just going to take this piece of greenery and I'm doing everything going down. And then I'm going to take these pieces here, which are shorter. They're only a third of a yard. So 
Um, and then I have these this piece here, which is longer. It's about 18 inches. And we're gonna lay these in here, two more pieces that are you know, about the same length. And I have one more piece of this. So it's just kind of all goes in, mix and match. And I have another loose piece of that. I think I better scrunch everything down with my wand. And then now we're gonna make a bodabra bow on top. So I think, let me figure out the red, this is the right side of my ribbon. So because this is the right side and that's the wrong side, I'm gonna twist it, then I'm gonna fold it back over. And as you can see, there are springs, I think I better make these loops a little bit bigger. There are springs in the bodabra that helps it act like a third hand for you. So twist that. And again, I'm gonna fold it and I want the wrong side of the ribbon on the inside of my loop. So when I bring it back, I'm gonna twist it. I'm gonna go back over here, fold and twist. Go back over here and twist. And one more here, fold and twist and fold and twist. And I think I, got, I have enough ribbon for two more fold in twists. And then I'm gonna lay down this really pretty pumpkin um, pick. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Take my regular Bodabra wand, scrunch it in. And do we know who won yet? And now, oops, don't want to lose my bow wire. And hold it all down. Okay. I think Ava won, but I'm not 100%. Just... <laughs> um, Terry, can you let us know? Bring that around to the back. And Terry will contact you, and that way I can get your address so I can send the, the winning to you. But if you didn't win today, don't worry, because you can win... Ava. Oh, awesome, Ava. Congratulations. So if you didn't win today, I'm just now I'm just going to tie a knot here. Linda says, makes me want to say all my leftover craft items to do this with. Exactly. That's the problem is you start doing that. I mean, we're, we're not bad enough as crafters that we hoard, but with Bodabra, you start getting worse. <laughs> Wanda, Wanda says, thank you for sharing your creative ideas. They're beautiful. Thank you. And again, I have to thank Michael because Michael comes up with, Oh my God, so many amazing, amazing ideas. And now let's just kind of shape this. And shape this out. And thank you guys again, thank you so much for spending your uh, Monday evening with me. I hope you'll join me every Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. And, um, 6 p.m. Central and 5 p.m. Mountain. Tammy says gonna... like it. Tammy says love it. Oh, thanks you guys so much. I totally love this. And it's just, you could put it on a wreath and hang it, put it on a broom, uh, or just hang it by itself on your door because this is just, it makes such an easy, super simple decoration. And I literally made this in less than five minutes. So pretty cool. So anyhow, I can't believe We've, it's already time to go, but I want to thank you guys so much again for joining me, for um, spending your time, and please share with your friends and let them know about Bodabra. Um, and also, it makes a great holiday gift or hostess gift. So we'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.